Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Parkview. We are so thrilled that you are here with us. And as always, we have some announcements, so please listen up. We are so very excited that our discipleship groups are meeting again tonight. If you are already a part of one of these groups, this is one of the best ways to get involved. There is a list of all the leaders in your worship guide that you can get in touch with. These groups are all about encouragement, discipleship, and restoring brokenness. If you would like more information on these groups, Pastor Mike would love to talk to you. Our next First Wednesday service is coming up on April 6th at 6 p.m. This is the night where we bring the entire church together to worship, read God's word, and pray together. Each month, we look forward to this time to have together as a church. We're so excited to see all of you there. For everyone who loves a little competition, we have rescheduled our Friday fellowship for April 8th at 6.30 p.m. This is an awesome time to come together, have fun, play games, eat food, and more. It is open to the entire church and the community, so we encourage you to invite as many friends as you can. We really hope to see you all there. If this is anyone's first time here, we are honored that you are here with us. We would love for you to take time to fill out one of these connect cards, which you can find in the pew in front of you. These cards can also be used to let us know about your prayer requests or any info that you would like to share with us about yourself. Once you fill it out, you can drop it in one of our offering stands. These are located at the front door entrance, the side door next to the stage, and out in the lobby. If you have any questions about what is coming up at Parkview, you can check out the worship guide. And of course, if you would like to get updates via text, you can sign up for our Remind text by calling the church office anytime during the week. As always, we're so very glad that you are here with us this morning, and we hope that you enjoy the service. Yay! All right. Would you stand with me, please? We're going to begin our time of worship this morning, as we always do with a reading from God's Word, and then Stephen and the team will lead us in some worship before we come back and, and share more from the Word of God. Proverbs chapter 4 is an amazing chapter. I'm not going to read all of it, but I'm going to read a lot of it. And we're going to begin in verse number 1. Listen, my sons, to a father's instruction. Pay attention and gain understanding. I give you sound learning, so do not forsake my teaching. When I was a boy in my father's house, still tender and an only child of my mother, he taught me and said, Lay hold of my words with all your heart. Keep my commands and you will live. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Do not forget my words or swerve from them. Do not forsake wisdom and she will protect you. Love her and she will watch over you. Wisdom is supreme. Therefore, get wisdom. Though it cost all you have, get understanding. Esteem her, and she will exalt you. Embrace her, and she will honor you. She will set a garland of grace on your head and present you with a crown of splendor. Listen, my son, accept what I say, and the years of your life will be many. I guide you in the way of wisdom and lead you along straight paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hampered. When you run, you will not stumble. Hold on to instruction. Do not let it go. Guard it well, for it is your life. Do not set foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn from it and go on your way. Verse number 20. My son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to a man's whole body. Above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. Put away perversity from your mouth. Keep corrupt talk from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Make level paths for your feet and take only ways that are firm. Do not swerve to the right or the left. Keep your foot from evil. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your wisdom that you have made available to us in your word through the inspiration of your Holy Spirit. And so, Father, as Solomon did in the book of Proverbs, Lord, today we cry out for wisdom. Lord, would you speak to us today? 
Father, would you have your way with our hearts and our minds? Lord, would we, at this moment, yield ourselves and surrender to you in full submission? As we offer up our worship to you, Lord, I pray that our hearts will be pure before you, that it will be worship that will be pleasing in your sight, and a fresh sound to your ears, Lord, and an aroma to you that is a fragrance, that is an offering worthy of our love. Lord, I pray that you'll build a hedge of protection around this place, Lord, that your Holy Spirit again would have the freedom to rule and to reign our hearts and everything said and done in, in this room as we sing and as we listen to your word. Lord, I, my prayer is simply this, that in all ways that we would give ourselves to you and allow you to have your way with us in the way that you want to as a church, as families, and as individuals. Lord, we give this day to you and we thank you for loving us through your son, Jesus Christ. And through his atoning sacrifice on the cross of Calvary, Lord, that's the only reason we can come and worship you today. And that's the only way we can be saved. And so we thank you again in his name. Amen.
want to fade Cause I know you'll make a way I don't always understand I don't always get to see But I will believe it I will believe it You make mountains move You make giants fall And you use songs of praise To shake prison walls I will speak to my fear I will preach to my doubt That you were faithful then You'll be faithful now Sing it out, I am standing I am standing on your word I'm calling heaven down to earth You 
are here moving in our midst I worship you I worship you you are here working in this place I worship you I worship you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Cause you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here. You are here. Touching every heart, I worship you. Yes, I worship you. You are here, you're healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, you're turning lives up. I worship you, cause you are here, you're bending every heart, I worship you, I worship you, cause you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is Stop working Even when I don't see it You're working Even when I don't feel it You're working You never stop You never stop working You never stop You never stop working Even when I don't see it You're working Even when I don't feel it You're working You never stop You never stop working You're working, even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, cause you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Promise keeper, 
darkness keep light in the darkness my God that is who you are we may miracle work promise keeper praise you for who you are then in our brokenness and weakness Lord we don't need to strive through our own strength but we can come to you because you are the way maker if we're walking where you're leading us Lord we don't have to worry even in the times where we don't seem to feel it or see it or know what's going on Lord, I pray you would give us the confidence to have that faith and trust in you, to follow in your steps, Lord, where you're leading, because that is a place of peace. That is a place of fulfillment in you. We can't have fulfillment in anything but you, Lord. I just pray that you would help us where we lack our faith, Lord. You would help us in that, to walk in your way, because you are the way, Lord, and we thank you and we praise your name for that this morning. Because you are way maker, miracle work, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, it's who he is, oh, way to our hearts because we're longing to hear from you that's what we need I pray we would lay down anything we might have brought in that's distracting us Lord and focus on you lay it at your feet and follow the one who is the way and the truth and the life Lord pray that we would be obedient to you this morning in your son's name we pray amen